everybody, Music Trends here. Welcome back to DuckTales Remastered. Look at the pile of money back there. Look at Crown, and then we got the Coin of the Lost Realms, what we did last day in Transylvania. We defeated Magic at Dispel. She's trying to get her number one dime, too. A witch. Anyway, um, yeah, we did pretty good last day, and now we're doing the Amazon today. It's like I said, I'm saving the moon for the last, because the moon is a deadly level. Is that Aladdin's lamp up there? Top right? Could be. Anyway, Amazon. Get launch pad on the horn. I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. Thanks for the lift, launch bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds. And it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, launch bud. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquack himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl. And I'm not leaving till I find it. The Amazon, welcome to it. We have a giant ape. Oh god, there's one right there. That's not what I wanted to happen. Oh well. So you're gonna get these giant apes all over the place. Oh look, oh, look. Tre big treasure. Here, Donkey Kong. Thank you. That's not a heart. What's that? Launchpad. I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. Edo, you haven't stumbled across a pizza joint down there, have you, Mr. McD? I'm getting kind of hungry up here. Uh, I'm not even going to dignify that question with a response. Yeah, they have. Uh, I'll. Sorts of pizza down here, man. So, I'll look at the map up now. Bye, serpent. Look on the map there, on the lower map, there are seven more circles we gotta get to. So, we'll get to those. Side quest of that. There's another one. Oh, I have a cutscene every time he finds one. And this one has an inscription of an eagle. Hmm, I didn't get an eagle. That's what I call a ruby. Geronimo. The bees will keep coming too. I need you, Mr. Bee. Oh, he got me. <laughs> There we go. I'm gonna go down here next. Probably should do it first, but it's alright. Hee hee! I'm like a money magnet! I'm like a money magnet. Just checked all these ones out. Beakley! Aha! <laughs> a coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha! It'll help us find the treasure for sure. Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McD. He does say so, Lunch Page. You're listening to him. Otherwise, you're not getting paid, man. <laughs> he had a DuckTales move as well. 
spider. There's like a massive treasure hunt between Duck and Glongold for like a lamp, I believe, to find a hidden lamp. A coin showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? Mrs. Beakley down here. You don't want to go to height or jump. Because you'll get attacked by the thorns up top, so... Too hard about taking damage because I got more than enough HP. But you're up there, you want to go all the way high, so you just let go at the like you go right the height right there, but you let go about halfway. And you'll do the full jump, so good little tactic there. Especially when you come across like this kind of stuff. I'll take the hit. Oh, another coin. Or a heart, what is it? Coin! Look at this! An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? <laughs> That's why I'm calling you, boss. I checked the glove compartment, but all I found was gloves. Oh. You'd best find those fuel canisters, or well, the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. This time I ask you for help. Is that a promise? It could be. Could be a promise. Alright, well, I got everything down done. That's right, you couldn't have said it better myself. There's another one. Yeah! <laughs> Found another one! And it depicts the ruling might of a spear. This is Launchpad, Mr. McD. Come in, Mr. McD. Launchpad, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. Uh, except maybe them. And them. I, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Come below, snakehead. Oh, cake and a bee. Oh. Yeah, this level is not fun for the scrolling enemies. They always keep coming. And I think you want to go in the middle after. I wasn't hanging around, Scrooge. Look at this one. It shows a shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. Making them unique is where it's at, man. Okay, make sure. I'm just gonna get some treasure up here and we'll go the other way. Health is also good. He just spawned out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, let's go. And go up. Get to the last treasure. Boingy. Up here. Whatever. I'm fine. <laughs> Bees have the right of way. Waka waka, it's a treasure. And go over there. Down to go up. Go. Nope. Last coin. Aha! This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Come to think of it, uh, I forgot. <laughs> Launchpad, were you dropped on your head much as a child? All the time. Why? 
That's kind of mean, Scroogey. Alright, well, we're going over here. Ooh, what's this? Come in, launch pad. I found something. There's a carving of Manco Capquack on this stone slam, and there's eight succulent notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I've found will fit perfectly into those notches. Ah, you must have come across an ancient Incan poker table, Mr. McDee. How about I come down there and you deal me in for a hand? You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right, trouble spotting it is. Launchpad. What if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Manco Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Oh no, it's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. Or maybe not. Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquack. And that beam of light, it must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McDee! Wait up, launch pad. It, it, nope. There we go. Watch out for the bees. Down there are certain dooms, so don't jump off. Uh, launch pad will stay close to where I am, so I wanted to explore a little bit. Find some treasure. I don't know how these blocks are floating here. Where's gonna go? Yeah, there we go. Onward, launch pad. One hit backwards and I'm dead. I'm a dead duck. Much bad. Thank you. Ooh, thank you, dude. I'm not gonna go down there, it's not worth my time. Here I might be though. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You just wanna stay on the path. Launch pad. You can. That's it anyway. You got no money. Whoa! I did it! I found the legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launchpad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launchpad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. Awesome. Okay, let's go up. So under 400,000 to go to get a million. We can do it. Yippee! Most of the treasures are is in here anyway. Let me go this way. So we're in the temple. That's good. Full health. Awesome. Go that way at all? Oh, okay. Let's keep going. We have a heart to find. Looks like a bowler gonna fall down there. Oh yeah. <laughs> just keep walking. Just keep walking. There's a rope up there. Hey, it's a tribesman. Hey, buddy. Can you come over here? Cause I want to get up there. Oh, I don't need you. Never mind. Never mind, dude. That's what I call a ruby. It's mine. It's a red ruby. Down we go. This is Beakley. Where you at? This is Beakley. What are you doing here? I'm just making sure you stick to your diet, Mr. McDuck. Marvelous job as usual, Mrs. Beakley. You know, Mr. McDuck. These giant stone obelisks would make wonderful souvenirs for the boys. 
This is watching your diet? I'm gonna get a cavity, man. Well, ducks don't have teeth, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Get up. Ah! There you go. Do that pretty quick. And this rock here, you can destroy it. You got a butt ton of treasure. Good to have. And cake! Fire two! Keep going. Don't worry about that. It's not worth dying over. Alright. Almost there. As you see, we're almost there. Yippee! A little diamond. Ooh. Serpents. I don't like serpents. Okay. Very quickly go this way first. I remember this boss being a little bit tricky too. Oh, I was hoping that. There you go. <laughs> Stop it. Cake. Heart. Right in here is... Our heart. Perfect. Excellent. We're making good progress now. Will we get 1.5 mil? I don't know. Come close. No. <laughs> Came close, so. Oh well. That's it. I'm done. The scepter. It is the king's scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. Catch me, kilts! What was that? Got a boss battle! Shakes the ground, it drops your... Uh, Pogo. Game. Watch the moving rocks to shake a little bit before they go. Then he'll appear, he'll smack the ground. Rinse and repeat. That one will do damage to you. That's that, alright. Side now. One that doesn't move. <laughs> it's your safe spot. You get more than enough time unless you're at the very other side. You won't, you won't make that. <laughs> Almost done. This one isn't too bad at all. Doing some damage to the ink and statue. Oh, she got. That it? That's nothing. Just stay right here now. It's gonna help me out immensely. There you go. And one more should be. 
There it is. Done. Easy. That level's hard when you don't have a full, a lot of energy, though. Hurry, Mr. McD! This place has fallen to pieces! No! I'm not leaving without that scepter! Get us out of here, Launchpad! I cannot believe we came all this way for nothing! What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, Feathered One. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McD? Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan King! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> we got a back scratcher. Sweet. For for an Incan tribe, they speak very fluent English. <laughs> Good for them. And we got a back scratcher. That's awesome. Skip all this. The scepter of the Incan King. I tell you, boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> <laughs> you boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. There's no deciding. We only have the moon to go, but save that for the next part. So let's get the music for that. I found an ancient back scratcher. That is awesome. Um, Amazon. There it is. Anyway, we'll end it off here for today. Next day we'll zip zoom right to the moon. I'm Azuka Twenty. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video. Back scratcher.